Hello friends, it's your buddy Tim Kirby, Russia Tips, Tricks and Travel. Today we're continuing our quest to find the really cool, real Russian places that you want to visit just outside the borders of Moscow. Pretty soon I'm going to hop on a suburban train uh, to go visit Sergeyev Passad, which is one of the very first places that I went to visit on my own, sort of as a tourist when I started living in Moscow. So this is going to be pretty cool. Oh, and uh, yes, you may be, if you're wondering, yes, I did break my finger playing American football, and yes, this is duct tape. Anyways, Let's get going. Well, that was pretty quick, to be honest. And uh, you know, it's just a 10 minute walk to this point, sort of central viewing point of the city called Blinna Gara, or Pancake Hill, as it would be in English. But sadly, there are no pancakes to be found. But anyways, behind me is one of a rare thing in the former Soviet Union, a lavra. Now what's a lavra? If you start putting sticky churches sort of next to each other, they reach a critical mass and become a lavra. But anyways, terminology aside, basically at this point, this is the biggest, baddest monastery in all of Russia, and that's what you need to know. So if you're gonna go see a, a monastery, why not go see the big one, right? All right, so then, uh, yeah, let's go. Guys, within these walls, there's over 700 years of history that's continuing on into the future. And there's 50 structures, 10 of which are churches. So there's a lot to see. So let's enjoy the holiday atmosphere and take a little stroll. Sergeyev Passad started as one tiny building built by St. Sergius in 1337, which over time grew and grew into today's Lavra. When Dmitry Donskoy was blessed here, allowing him to finally defeat the Mongol Tatar hordes at the Battle of Kulikova, it made the place seem legitimately holy. Inside of it, it is absolutely gorgeous with all sorts of churches and bell towers that you would never see in my native Ohio. There is so much to see, you could spend a whole day here and still miss some cool fresco or chapel, and most importantly, they have traditional Russian food and drinks for sale inside. You can feed your body and soul in one location. I always ask if there's stuff written in English in Russia, and uh, yes, but there's also Chinese. Uh, ever since the ruble crash, Chinese has gotten a lot more popular, and it seems like everything around here is in the uh, triple language version. Very interesting. I wonder how good the Chinese is. The English is pretty darn accurate. Well, as I may have mentioned, we're in Sergiev Passad. Well, what's the Sergiev stuff? It is in honor of Sergius of Radonezh, who we've actually mentioned in the previous video, and the uh, churches and monasteries that he's founded have been in like the last three or four videos. So I nominate him as official patron saint of Russia Tips, Tricks, and Travel. What do you think about that? I think it's a good idea. Okay, so let's take a walk around. We shouldn't let the rain slow us down. Heck, if bad weather stops you from doing things in Russia, then um, you're really never going to do anything here. Anyways, right behind the big lava, there's a lovely walking street where you can get a snack and check out a museum. Wow, it is the Soviet car of the future. Look at that. It's almost like a semi-station wagon. It's kind of a station wagon, but not really. That's neat. And I like the, the interesting rear view mirror position. Very cool. Okay, so this is Karl Marx Street. That back there is the Lavra. And on Karl Marx Street, there's a ton of restaurants, but it's way too early for dinner. But I gotta get out of the rain. So let's check out this museum because I heard they have a neat store where they sell tons of candy. Oh boy, sweets. very hard to translate Cookmeister Museum has all sorts of exhibits about how cooking was done in the good old days. But more importantly, they have an old school gift shop with lots of candy to try. This is a great option as a gift to take back home with you. The homemade candy travels well and my kids sure loved it. All 
right, so let's head out from the center of the city to see the other side of Sergiev Passad, far away from the famous Lavra's walls. Got your four-wheel drive Lada, your beat-up house, a ton of firewood, Russian redneck style, baby. Friends, we're outside the city. We're in Blagovishnya, a tiny, semi-forgotten Russian village. And uh, before I forget about it, let's try out these candies. Hmm, that's good. Ooh, pineapple flavor, pineapple in Russia, oh boy. Uh, but anyways, guys, this village is very cool. And look at that church. So we, we showed you more uh, sort of like modern, even though they're ancient, well-painted, organized churches at the Lavra, but this is the sort of more northern Russian wooden church you've seen around. And this village is really cool because there's like completely abandoned buildings next to brand new buildings. So uh, I love that contrast of uh, Russian villages that they have. Lagavishenia village is very much like a time portal. Most old wooden structures and villages around Moscow were all modernized centuries ago, but this unique location has the same layout and church as it would have had in the distant past. Of course, there are some new buildings around, but if I squint my eyes, I can see the world that my ancestors were living in, a world of faith, farming, and isolation. Sergeyev Passad is pretty darn old and pretty darn churchy, if that is even a word. In fact, it's the most church-filled place that you are going to find on a cheap train from Moscow. There is tons of history here, and you should really come for sure. Yeah, guys, Russia is definitely a land of contrast. So here we have Lenin, we have Land Rover, and over there we have Lavra. Yeah, 